Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the third episode of Terraria Legendary Mode. Now I'm here at the main menu because I am genuinely not looking forward to beginning this episode here because we have the Goblin Army. That is what ultimately made me rage quit the last episode. So we need to head into our legendary world and pretty much just sort of get on with this thing, right? I mean, I am imagining about 743 million deaths, but um, uh, it is what it is, isn't it, really? Maybe what we do is actually go ahead and uh, defeat these guys in our house. Might just wind up being the better way to do this. Let's see how effective the mace is. Yeah, it's, it's kind of all right. I mean, I can't... Oh, good lord. I was just about to say, I can't complain about it too much. Uh, when you've got a... Oh, good grief. And everybody's dying. <laughs> Not cool, boo-boo. All right, prepare for spawn deaths, my friends. Prepare for spawn. I'm very, very surprised that this guy is still alive. He just took a bulk of damage there. It will not be long before he is out of the game. Yeah. Oh! Yep. <laughs> yeah, if you guys have enjoyed the series and you want to continue supporting this series, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it. Consider subscribing if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. And if you really want to go one further, use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get a discount when ordering any of my Apex Gaming PCs. Good grief! Yeah, my Gladius seems capable of going ahead and keeping their little projectiles at bay. Ah, oh, jeez. Now, if only I could go ahead and kill these pesky sons of guns. Oh, that would be so, so nice. This isn't going well, is it? <laughs> To be honest with you, my friends, I think there's only really one thing that's going to be done at this point, and that is to do a bit of a death charge here. Oh, good God. Yeah, this is just going to be beyond awful. Like, honestly, awful, beyond awful, beyond dreadful. It's just going to be terrible. All right, we've got all of these guys in the middle here. If I could somehow get them all back in the middle... There we are, there we are, there we are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe what I should be doing... Oh, I don't have enough, uh, I don't have enough torches, I don't think. Wait, 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 okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this thing up to... Uh, where is it? I think you can upgrade it up to a flaming mace, yes? Uh, there it is. Oh, good grief, they actually just came up. Okay, that's cool. Right, can you guys, got, like, set on fire? There you go. Don't kill me again, man! I'm done with dying! I'm done! I'm done! Come on! And I'm getting pincered. <laughs> All right, my friends, at this point, it's just going to be a death charge. Let's just keep on going until this thing is taken care of, I guess. Well, it turns out we're no longer in the underworld. This has become a graveyard biome, would you believe? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perseverance and determination. Yeah, that was a pretty short-lived little celebration for the end of the blasted goblin army. <laughs> oh, gee whiz. Gravestones literally littering the entire world down here as well. Um, yeah, all we got to do is just take out the little stragglers here. And that is it. The last of the goblin army. Oh, I hope we don't see these guys for a long, long time. All right. This guy's the last one, yes? Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. There we have it, my friends. The goblin army. The only upside I can see to doing all of that is the fact that, number one, we've got spiky balls. We can use that in some sort of arena for boss fighting later down the line. And obviously, number two, we can go ahead and try to find ourselves the goblin tinkerer. Good grief, though. There are so many gravestones around here. It is utterly unbelievable. One by one, we ridded the graveyard biome surrounding 
surrounding our house. Cool. Also, we got ourselves a bunch of money from, you know, taking out all of those goblins. So can't complain overly much now, can we? Yeah, all money is good money. In fact, just how much money did we manage to get? We've got 15 gold coins now. All right, that's kind of cool. So then, what are we going to do in today's episode? I am thinking we try to buff our health up to the absolute maximum, my friends. I think it is a very much needed thing in this world if we are wanting to have any chance of surviving, of course. So, uh, yeah. Before we pop off and do that, though, we do, of course, have ourselves a few little ores and bars laying around. Perhaps we could go ahead and upgrade our gear just a tiny, teensy bit more. I think that'd be a good idea, right? Alrighty. So, it looks like we've got ourselves some decent stuff to be had here. We could go ahead and make ourselves a broadsword or a bow. Right. Uh, I mean, we do have the Undertaker, but we don't have the ability to get any ammo for it. Not at this particular stage. So it is pretty tempting to get a bow rather than a sword. And then pretty much the rest of it, we can just, I don't know, maybe just upgrade our tools. I mean, yeah, we could get ourselves some better armor, perhaps. Hmm. Might be a good idea, actually. Maybe we upgrade our chest plate finally. Yeah, that's a good idea. All defense is good defense at the end of the day, my friends. Oh, yeah. That's one of the other 1.4.4 changes. They raised the stack limit on a whole bunch of items in the game. So, yeah, wooden arrows seems to be one of those things. Cool. All right. Uh, we can make ourselves a bunch of Jester's arrows. They may help us take out worm enemies quite a lot easier. And then we'll go ahead and make for ourselves a whole bunch of flaming arrows as well. All righty, my friends, it is time to go heart hunting. And I tell you something, I'm not stopping until we have the maximum health value of 400. Okay. Oh, cool. Look at that. Little underground snow trees. That's so cool, though, isn't it? Oh, and we've got double bombs, eh? That's how it's gonna be, eh, Terraria? Hmm, TNT. Maybe we go ahead and avoid that, eh? <laughs> we don't need a repeat of what happened last time with the TNT, okay? I just don't think we need to be accepting pointless deaths like that. I want my deaths to at least have meaning. Like, all of the deaths at the beginning of today's episode were a valiant attempt at us trying to defend our base area and stuff. Ho! Oh, you know, what else since I've seen one of those bad boys, eh? The only thing is, if I die, I'm going to lose a significant volume of coinage. And I don't want to really do that. So uh, maybe we just try and be extra careful, right? Son of a gun. That keeps on happening. These guys just spawn in on me. And the game just expects me to pwn them into the floor. Well, guess what? Joke's on you, because I did manage to pwn him into the floor. So, ha, <laughs> Terraria, you lose. Oh! <laughs> that w oh, there's a Medusa here. Oh, dang, I thought those guys were supposed to be hard mode. Okay. That's, uh, that, that's, that's real cool there, Terraria. Appreciate that one. I just realized something, guys. If we want to not have the Eye of Cthulhu spawn naturally on us, we're going to have to keep ourselves below 10 defense. Now, that sounds like a very, very weird and backwards thing to say, but I just don't feel like accepting deaths for the sake of accepting deaths. I think that's frankly stupid. So, yeah. If we go over 10 defense, the Eye of Cthulhu, I'm pretty sure, would have a small chance of spawning in each night. If we manage to find some large deposits of ores, rather like this big silver vein here, I will go ahead and make the effort to go ahead and mine it up. I figured that'd be a good idea, because, you know, as much as health is nice, being able to get good gear, that's also pretty good. Ah, flinxes. Something, oh, something which I believe was changed in 1.4.4, the spawning conditions for these things. In other words, they spawn way more often now and that is pretty awesome because a lot of you guys may remember my let's play series sorry i heard a click sound and it was actually the message to say that the nurse had arrived i heard the click sound and it just freaked the hell out of me even the most innocent things are scaring me Huh? That is what you have succeeded at doing, Terraria, with this seed. You have made me scared of everything, even positive things. Ha! Huh! A heart crystal! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Beautiful! Exactly what your boy is looking for. All right, that's 220. Nine more to go. Oh! You've got to be kidding me, right? I wasn't close to the corruption, was I? All right, quick stock up of regular 100 healing potions and we'll get right back to it. We've got nine heart crystals to be had, my friends. Let's 
friggin' do it. Oh, cool, a ruby tree. Wait, no, that's not a ruby tree, is it? No, it's just an ashwood tree. For some reason, in my mind, it looked like a ruby tree. Like, I'm not the only one, am I? Or am I just being stupid? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah! Get blown up, you stupid zombie. Yeah. Oh, and there's a slime in there now, is there? Son of a gun. This game is determined to make me have a bad day. But it ain't happening, son. Just isn't happening. Oh, cool. At least I could go ahead and buy some more bullets now. We have an arms dealer. What the hell? A golden slime? I have never, ever seen a golden slime before. Presumably, it's going to have millions and millions of coins in it. I mean, it's kind of pulsating as if to say it is carrying money. So, maybe I could... I don't know. I, I don't really know how I'm going to do this. Ah, uh, maybe I could just shoot it. Haha! -ha! Right, I mean, this is, let's be honest, going to be a bit of an endurance fight. Does he, like, drop actual money that I can have? No. Looks like a troll thing. Hmm. This game's going to be a troll, is it? I mean, that kind of works. Just sort of put him in a pit. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on. I had a bit of a uh, string of damage being dealt there. Come on. Come on. Okay, okay. A couple more shots. And he is done. Whoa! 82 gold! Okay, right. There is no way I'm risking that. That is going home immediately. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant though, isn't it? Yeah, we ain't running out of no bullets now, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, back to the heart hunting, I think. Is it me, or have we really not been having a great deal of luck with the heart hunting? Maybe the seed reduces the spawn rate of the heart crystals. I mean, that'd be kind of sad if that was the case, but uh, who knows? Maybe I'm just being unlucky. Oh, hey, up. Looks like a fairy has found something for your boy to have. Uh, if I could just discover what that is. Hey, it's a heart crystal. Nice. Who said that fairies aren't useful in this game? They are so freaking useful. Hell yeah, dude. All right, well, let's go ahead and grab our reward. And... Oh, thank goodness. I was just going to say, what the heck was that, man? Another troll item, eh? <laughs> okay, that is a new one. I've never seen that before, but um, yeah, there you have it. In keeping with all of the traps and various bits and bobs, yeah, you can get troll hearts now. That, that's great. You know what else is great? Finding even more heart crystals. Look at that. There's a sunflower above me as well. Ah! Ah! Oh, that just scared the living poop out of me. What the? Okay. Those things bounce around. Oh, look at that. There's a shroomerang. Oh, what in the world just happened there? <laughs> okay, game. Okay. Ah, uh, you think that death is going to deter me from that heart and that shroomerang, eh? <laughs> you are sorely mistaken. The gladius doesn't have enough range to keep armed zombies at bay. Okay, interesting. Right, you know what they say, you learn something new every day, eh? Huh? So there you have it. You know what we need to do? We need to try and see if we can get ourselves a, a fishing pond going. I mean, there are tiny little water sources dotted all over the place, and if we do the bucket trick, we could probably fashion into existence a fishing pond. Then we get ourselves a cooking pot, and then we can make ourselves some little food items, you know? The little fish dishes that you can make, you know? You know, you know what I'm on about. They are very, very good. Not only for keeping your hunger at bay, but for also giving yourselves a whole bunch of buffs, yeah? Make ourselves a fishing pond. Hmm. Yes, yes, I have ideas. I'm going to put them into action fairly soon, like here. Oh, you can't be serious. Oh, you think I can't see you there, son? We've got a thousand and eighty health to try and take down. How exactly that is going to happen, I've no idea. To be honest, I think it would just be a better idea to just avoid it. Another fairy? Really? That's kind of cool. Uh, right. Where did we die before? I think I've completely lost it, guys. <laughs> All right. Well, the fairy has found something. Oh, good grief. The fairy has found something, and it's an underground house. Well, what do you know? Appreciate it there, buddy. I'll tell you what. If this has an ice blade in it, I'm going to be beyond happy. Ah, oh, man. Really? hey -oh! Not only a heart crystal, but also... Oh, oh, it was a real one. Okay, good-o. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm just getting World War II style flashbacks now of those heart crystals. Oh, I feel like I'm just going to die by one. That would be the ultimate in trolling, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, another one. Nice. Maybe I can outrun this guy, huh? Uh, right. So, hey, a chest. Cool. Don't mind if I do there, son. Uh, flowy boots. That is the equivalent of Hermes boots, right? Cool. Oh, another one. Yes. Hey, ice boomerang. And also, look at this. We have the ability to infinitely go back to base now in case things go a little bit south. Brilliant. Fan-freaking-tastic. I'm very happy with that. Why on earth is there a rich mahogany tree here? That is a little bit on the strange... Oh, <laughs> that guy almost killed me. There's a lost girl right there. Uh, we got ourselves a staff of regrowth and an eye of Cthulhu summoner. Hey. Ah! Okay, so uh, apparently I didn't put myself out. Darn it, man. I was actually about to go ahead and try and take out that lost girl and get myself a freaking metal detector. Oh, this game, man. This game. Anyway, there we are. 280 health. Things are looking well now, my friends. Things are looking well. To be honest with you, as nice as the mace may be in some situations, I do not think it outstrips the ice boomerang, especially in terms of range and the fact that because we have auto fire, we can just continuously fire this thing. Yeah. Aha! So this is where I died. Oh, hey! This guy is here. Fantastic. All right, rocket boots, tinker shop. Yeah, all right, fan-freaking-tastic. I'm actually so chuffed about that. Very, very cool. Not only that, we have 300 health now, which means we have five life crystals remaining. All right, oh, God, that looks that looks beyond dreadful. Ha! Okay, go on. Yeah, 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 do your thing. Uh, do your thing. Go on. And you there, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, that looks beyond bad. Okay, right. I am envisioning 7,000 different uh, pressure plates. Although saying that, there wasn't actually any there. Interesting. All right, there's also one of these things. Hey, son of a gun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm yourself there, game. Wait, what is that? I know it's... Oh, you can't be... No way, bro. Are you serious? I mean, I figured out what it was, but something activated it that wasn't me. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that game. Really appreciate that one, son. Anyways, with that death done and dusted, I guess it gives us an opportunity here to go ahead and do a little bit of accessory combining. So we've got some Spectre boots here, which is fantastic. I don't believe there's actually anything else we can combine at this early stage in the game. Ah, big sad. Huh. Interestingly, the Shroomerang does more damage than an Ice Boomerang. Uh huh. If I could go ahead and get the Goblin Tinkerer to move on down here, if at all possible. Uh, all right, it must not be nighttime yet. If I could get him to move down here, then I could go ahead and reforge the Shroomerang and have myself an even better ranged melee weapon. How about a bone pickaxe from this guy, huh? Ah, oh, nope. Just some bombs. Just some good old fashioned plain Jane bombs. All right, let's go and uh, reforge this bad boy, shall we? 64 silver. Oh, and oh, we get something like that on the first go. Thank you very much. I do hope that that's going to be a good omen as to how the rest of this series is going to go luck-wise. Oh, it feels so good to have a ranged melee weapon, brother. Oh, it's so fantastic, though, isn't it? All right. I feel like we have a fairly all right set of weapons now. Feels good, man. And look at this. I can take out bats with absolute ease. I never thought I'd see the day when I'd be able to do that. Oh, my mortal enemy, the flare gun. That's just disgusting. Why would that still be in the loot tables for this seed, eh? Ah, oh, man. All right. Anything else to be had? Maybe a few more life crystals. Yep, there's one right here. Is this going to be a troll one? Nope, it's a real one. 320. Four left. All right. Looks like we're really starting to get into the loot now. We have ourselves one of the... Ah! Uh, well, we did have one of those things until I died. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's just fantastic, that. <laughs> also, it sounds like, you know, going by the background music, that we are in the underground corruption. So, 
something to bear in mind, I guess. I guess we have to go ahead and get ourselves back up there, huh? Well, I guess the good news is now that we have gone ahead and uh, blown up that house, uh, we should be able to go ahead and get ourselves back up there and actually loot what might be inside the chest there. Oh. I thought that was about to set everything off again. <laughs> uh, can you imagine repeat usage freaking dead man's chest traps? Hang on a minute. Yeah, I actually killed one. <laughs> if that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. I actually just took down a devourer. I feel pretty accomplished right now for once, my friends. <laughs> yeah, you see, this is how the professionals play this game. Yeah, make a single wide hole, a bada bing, bada boom. Absolutely, everybody is getting ruined. That's right, suck on that, Terraria. Oh, very good. All right, our fourth to final heart crystal. This isn't going to be a troll one, is it? Nope, it is a real one. 340. All right, come on. Three more. Three. Ah, ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Giant Shelly's, man. What a cool, is it? Oh, God, I'm so dead. Yeah. Ah, really? Ah, okay. I mean, I was doing... Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> I was doing a fairly all right job of exploring without dying there. And then I did die. Oh. Excuse me? It's raining underground, my friends. Uh, to say that is weird is rather an understatement, I have to say. Oh, it's no longer raining. Oh, no, it is raining. It's raining and then no longer raining. Yes. Yes, that makes a lot of sense there, Terraria. Okay. It looks like we've got ourselves a chest over our left-hand side there. That's pretty cool. Uh, kill this demon eye. Ha! There we are. Get wrecked there, son. Uh, oh, that's going to blow up. Good-o. Love to see it. All right. And if I was to... Wait, that's a demon altar. Huh. Look at that. We've got some cool stuff here. Got some worms and some herbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let it be a real one. Yeah, it is. All right. That is now two remaining, my friends. And also, is that what I think it is? I do believe it is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a spider biome. Please just be a regular worm. Please be a regular worm. Oh, thank goodness me. It is a regular worm. Looks like the penultimate life crystal is above me. Which is very, very good. I'm just exploring this thing to see if there is a webbed chest. If there is, of course, there will be... Oh, that's an easy way of doing it. Just break it from the bottom, apparently. <laughs> All right, very cool. Uh, right, let's get this guy taken out, if we can. There we are. Come on, come on, come on. That's it, that's it. Yeah. Doing enough knock back to keep him up. Oh, good grief. No. Don't kill me. All right, so there we are. 380 health, my friends. We are edging ever closer. There is a chest on my top right. I will, of course, go ahead and explore that in just a hot second here. I'm just trying to see if there's any web chests. I don't think there are. Right, okay. If that's not a trap chest, then I'm the freaking Pope. All right, we need to go ahead and disarm this one because that is almost certainly... Well, I say almost certainly. It is. It is going to kill me. <laughs> So, let's go ahead and kill it. Yeah, you ain't killing me today, son. Not today. No explosives. No dart traps. And I imagine somewhere above me... There we are. There's about 315,000 boulders. Yep, there they are. All right, all right. You can't take me out now. How about now? Yeah. Suck on that, Terraria. I just foiled your plan to kill me. I just saved myself editing in a death count. So, yeah, suck on that. Oh, I know where you're going there, Mr. Fairy. The final life crystal it was on my bottom left. So, give me just a second, because this was a pretty big ore vein. And, yeah, we will complete our objective for today's episode, my friends. About bleeding time, isn't it? Despite the ridiculous amount of deaths in today's episode, especially at the beginning. I honestly feel pretty good about today's episode. We've gotten ourselves a good amount of stuff done. There we are. And it was indeed a real one. Very cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, and of course you're excited to see more, do be sure, of course, to drop a like. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.